Are you looking to refine your sales team and increase your company's revenue? Leading your sales team is an ongoing improvement process. Join Harry Newhan from Eric Lofholm International as he interviews top sales managers in the world. Discover the best practices that rocket them and their teams towards success. Boost your recruitment, motivation, and training techniques, leading you to build a top-producing synergetic sales team. Welcome to CSI for Sales Managers. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Harry Newhand here with Continuous Sales Improvement for sales managers. And uh, as you notice, I'm by myself today, but I want to take an opportunity to um, to uh, just talk straight with Harry Newhan here with myself and uh, in our audience. I want to thank you so much for for coming on and uh, being part of my uh, of this group, this organization, this team that we're uh, putting together and growing. And I've uh, been doing this now four or five months on a regular basis, and you know, we've had some amazing speakers. Those of you that haven't had an opportunity to see to see some of the episodes, each one of them has golden gems for sales managers. And what I wanted to do is take this opportunity, because I really never did, but take this opportunity to share with you how this evolved, because we got something big coming up on Friday, and, and I'll, I'll get to that in just a second, but I wanted to make sure that you all had an opportunity to access it. But I wanted to share with you how it evolved to get to the point with Friday and and beyond, because uh, we've got some uh, exciting exciting things coming on board here with um, with continuous sales improvement for sales managers, and it actually is an offshoot from continuous sales improvement, which is the brand brand new brand from Eric Lawholm. Eric Lawholm and I met two years ago. Next week, actually, this week. I know it is next week. Uh, I think the nineteenth. Anyway, two years ago we met, and um, it was uh, it was uh, it was interesting the way the way it happened. But I want to kind of bring you back and and share with you why why it happened, and you know, connecting the dots from the past and what evolves to to right now. And I grew up in the restaurant business. My family owned a restaurant when I was a young teenager. And um, I was every day after school, I went to work and all the summers, all the holidays, I was working at the restaurant. And it was a franchise restaurant and I got to learn the franchising industry and, and got to learn the restaurant industry. And by the time I was 15 years old, I was managing a shift. And um, but I was working in there's no labor laws for immediate family. So <laughs> I was working uh, huge hours, long hours, big hours and um, making making basically minimum wage. By the time I was 18, I was running the, the restaurant. Uh, I was a store manager running the restaurant and knew almost every aspect of the, uh, of the store, of the operations, uh, all the way from interviewing uh, potential uh, workers, interviewing them and bringing them in, hiring them, going through the process of ads, running ads. And, and that really, I think, got me started in the um, in the process of learning how to recruit, learning how to identify personalities and learning how to see where the right fit is. And, and, and my parents were phenomenal trainers. Um, the, the tools and the gifts they had given me started me on a tremendous journey. Um, I had left the restaurant business when I was about 19, left for about three years and came back in my 20s. And stayed for three more years. And during that time is when I really had an epiphany that I no longer wanted to be in the restaurant business. That was not my destiny. It was not my future. So I started, I got introduced to the sales industry, the direct sales industry, network marketing and the nutrition, health and nutrition industry. And um, I got around ideas and concepts. I, I struggled for about a year and a half part time. And finally, I made the decision to go full time. There was a big training coming up. It's called the Millionaire School. And I wanted to qualify for it. And I wanted to go because they were going to teach me everything I needed to know to become a millionaire. So I thought um, in, in, in theory, they did. But it, it doesn't just turn the switch and all of, a, all of a sudden you become a millionaire. It's a, a process of implementation, um, taking what you learn, go back for take your experience back, get fixed and refined. So anyway, that was my journey. And when I went full time. That's when I got around incredible mentors like Mark Hughes, uh, Larry Thompson, the, the late, great Jim Rohn. Um, that's when I started expo getting exposure to 
um, other mentors in the industry. And, and I started hearing about Les Brown and studied his stuff, Brian Tracy and Dennis Waitley. And I started learning. I was, I was becoming a sponge because one thing Jim Rohn taught me was if you want to become worth, if you want to earn more, you got to become worth more. So I, I decided to invest in myself. And that's what I did. I started absorbing as much content as I could to become better, to become more valuable to the marketplace. Cause he said the marketplace pays for value. And in, in, in about five years, the blessings, it's like, boom, just poured on me and my income just exploded. And um, in a period of 21 months, I went from 7,000 a month to 20, uh, 127,000 a month. It was just incredible. And now that window of opportunity didn't last long. It closed for me. I, I was able to earn millions, but it closed and I found myself, you know, figuring out what to do. And I knew how to teach. I knew how to train. I knew how to recruit. I knew how to build international organizations. I knew the how to get the message out there, but I didn't have an opportunity that that could use those skills. And that's when I came across my next phase. So the first one was um, restaurant business. The next one was network marketing. The third phase was um, um, direct sales, going door to door. I have, I got a contract. I was uh, partnered up with a guy that had a contract to go door to door with a, the largest cable company in the country. And we would go door to door selling uh, cable phone and internet. And he was looking for somebody to uh, recruit, train and build a team that, that I could run the whole area. And so I proceeded to, to try to do that. And I, and I did that. Um, the first year was, was rough because I didn't want to knock on doors. After the first year, I realized that for me to recruit and build a team, I needed to get in the trenches and do it. So another two and a half years later, after getting in the trenches, still recruiting, interviewing every single week, revolving door because I didn't have it all figured out. But finally, total from when I started to when it really exploded for me is about three and a half years. And um, I got I learned how to handle just about every objection you could possibly handle going door to door, face to face with a customer and learn how to get someone's attention when you only have about five or 10 seconds to say something important enough for them to give you longer. I learned how to um, just believe in the product that I was selling at a whole nother level. Yes, I did in the nutrition industry, but this was you know face to face. You, you you've got such a limited time, and you got to say something important. They're not expecting you. You're knocking on the door. It's dark outside, and you know you're you're trying to to, to get them sell them a cable package. And so, when the thing exploded was um, when the economy crashed in 08, 09, and ten. I already had the recruiting machine going. Even though I didn't, couldn't get anybody to stick around, the recruiting machine was going. And I had the training going. Even though I couldn't get them to stick around very long, it was going. But when the economy crashed in 08 and 09, all of a sudden, high-level income earners flooded the market because they got laid off. And my formula of taking someone that had skills and giving them an opportunity where they could earn six figures a year going door to door was extremely attractive. And that's what happened. In 100 days, my business exploded. I got seven top guys, all earning 100000 a year, knocking on doors. Uh, two of them are still in the industry here more than 10 years later. They've made millions of dollars. I was able to earn millions of dollars. But what it did is it gave me an environment where I could recruit, train, manage, develop, and lead a team of like-minded individuals to a whole nother income level. And that was my third win. Now, in corporate America, when you make that kind of money, generally, they find a way to cut you back. They generally find a way to pull you back. And they did. Uh, it didn't happen overnight, but over the next eight years of just, we actually ended up becoming the number one door-to-door -door producing, sales producing sales team in the country. That's how big it got and that's how explosive it happened. In 100 days, things just changed. It just was like that, lightning fast. And um, again, over the next eight, nine years, they cut the pay because we made so much money. They just cut it, cut it, cut it. I started losing my guys after the fourth year, fifth year. And then after about nine years, I said, they, they lost me. I said, OK, I'm not interested anymore because it, it no longer became worth my time and energy because I knew that my skills I could reach more people and teach more people if my skills were used in a different environment, different area. And that's uh, when I started, um, I started uh, building my own brand. I said, you know, I've been gifted with these incredible gifts 
on how to sell, how to recruit, how to train, how to manage and develop teams of people, how to use technology when it's available, and build a high-producing sales team and teach people how to do that at whatever level. I also become a business strategist in different industries. And I had uh, some personal clients that, that asked me to coach them, and I did. Um, but I was building my own brand, and I was doing a, a, a mastermind class. And through my follow-up of that mastermind, the attendance to that, trying to get some new coaching clients, um, one of the, the ladies that was in my class, uh, Mary Sloan, she actually said, hey, have you ever heard of this guy, Eric Lawholm? I said, no. He said, you should meet him. I said, well, who is he and why should I meet him? So anyway, she, she arranged it. We did a three-way Zoom call. That's where I met Eric for the first time, two years ago to this week, at the end of this week. And uh, Eric and I started talking, and he said, you're just the guy I'm looking for. And I, and I said, well, why is that? So he shared with me his vision and what, we, what he was planning on doing. And after about 30 days of, of talking it over and realizing that, that he had everything that I wanted, already done. Uh, he had it recorded. It was an incredible library of all the stuff that I was just beginning. He said, come on over here and, and you can sell my, my material and do your own stuff in between. And then as we evolved this, he said, you know what? He goes, why don't you do a podcast and start a division called Continuous Sales Improvement for Sales Managers? He said, because I'm doing Continuous Sales Improvement but there's not much data out there. There's not much content for sales managers. And boy, was he right. You know, when you're managing, remember, it took me three and a half years total to learn the skills of going door to door where I could recruit, build and train and manage a team. Well, the, the amount of money it took me to earn in three years, I was teaching these guys how to earn in one. The first year they're making over 100,000. Well, it was my third year when I got there and they did it. They were doing it in one year and boom and growing it from there. Well, I said, so we, we got together. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll do a podcast. I said, I've never done one before. I have never even been a guest. He goes, I said, what do I do? How do I do it? He's do a little research, get a microphone. And that's what we got right here. A little microphone and a headset. And then reach out to sales managers and get some best practices. And like I said earlier, we've had some amazing guests come on here and share some, some absolute gems. And what we realized is that most sales managers have nowhere to go to get trained on how to be a sales manager. They either figure it out the hard way, the school of hard knocks like I did going door to door, or they just keep doing what they're doing and teach people how they were taught. And some of that stuff gets old and some of it's not really the best practices. So we realized that there was a tremendous niche that needed to be filled and we've got some incredible content that we wanted to share. And through the process, we developed up a curriculum. And um, this Friday, actually, uh, just a few days from now, we're going to introduce, uh, we're doing a free webinar that is just going to blow you away. We're introducing the um, Continuous Sales Improvement for Sales Mastery, Sales Management Mastery. Sales Management Mastery, we're going to introduce on Friday, just a few days from now. And um, I, I don't know how to share my page on these. I'm still learning the podcast stuff. Don't know how to share my my page here. I don't even know if I can. But what I, if you would like to have a free invitation to this event Friday morning, 8 a.m. Pacific time, 11 a.m. Eastern time, it's about one hour class, one hour free, we're going to blow you away. I'm telling you, we're going to knock your socks off. We're going to share with you some incredible sales management tips, and we're also going to introduce a program that you're going to definitely want to know more about, want to be a part of. If you have sales managers underneath you, you're going to want them to be a part of this. It's going to be that good. It's going to be life changing. How do I know that? Because of what I've already been able to accomplish sharing these, these uh, tactics and strategies and knowledge with other people. Created many millionaires over the decades of the, uh, teaching them how to use this material, how to use this stuff, how to use this knowledge. And we're going to um, we're going we're gonna to announce it. So Friday, if you'd like to be attended, if you'd like to, to attend this class, send me an email. I'm going to give you my personal email address because it's easier, it's easier to, um, to, to know. Uh, it's Harry Newhan. It's N-O-U-H-A-N, Harry Newhan at gmail.com. Send me an email at harrynewhan at gmail.com and I will send you the invitation, the, uh, the link. 
and you can register. It's free to register. It's a free class. And we're going to um, introduce some exciting stuff that uh, you're going to want to be a part of. So that's what we have here today. I have a lot of fun doing these podcasts. I get a lot of value. Even at my level, I learn tremendous things when I talk to my guests. And by the way, if you are a sales manager out there and you have a sales team and you'd like to be a guest on one of my upcoming episodes of um, of my podcast, again, put that in the email. And if you haven't already been on, I'd love to interview you. We have a lot of fun. It's a half hour long, just great. And you can share some best practices that you've learned and give back to the um give back to my my audience and continue to grow uh, yourself because one of the best ways to to learning is by teaching. So this could be a great opportunity for you to share some of your wisdom with other people out there that are looking to change their lives. So again, Harry Newhan at gmail.com. Send me an um, an email. Let me know that you would like the link to Friday's presentation. It's free. Doesn't cost anything to participate. You'll get some awesome gems and uh, we'll introduce you to the program that we are going to move forward with as far as training sales managers. We got a book coming out next year uh, with the same title, Continuous Sales Improvement for Sales Managers or Continuous Sales Managers Improvement. And the way the world is going, the way business is going, especially with this COVID thing, with now uh, most of the world going virtual, the technology that's available, the software that's available, if you're not up to date on the latest tools, the latest tactics, latest strategies, what's working virtually, what's working in person, then you're left behind. You're actually at a disadvantage. So we want to put as many advantages in your corner as we possibly can. And that's what we're going to uh, introduce on Friday. So come along, harrynewhan at gmail.com. Look forward to seeing you on Friday. And you guys have a great day. And we'll have another uh, episode with uh, one of our live guests. I'll have another interview coming up uh, in two weeks from tomorrow. Uh, two weeks from this here episode here, actually, two weeks from this episode, and we will um, we'll keep that going on a regular basis to give you as much more content as we possibly can to uh, to change, to help you, to help you get to where you want to go, to help you break those barriers and climb those barriers to success and to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish, and also to help guide you to get the most out of your sales teams and have them love you for it. All right. Everybody have a great day. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to subscribe to get notified of the latest episode. Also, to learn more about improving your sales team, visit continuoussalesimprovementforteams.com. See you in the next episode and have a great day.